yes, it's it's wonderful, Rita. Just wonderful. So that came out all right. I'm sure, an hour I, and ten I, minutes. <laughs> I love that you do teach us the 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 drawing and the portraits because I, that's one thing that I cannot get the the hang of is portraiture. I was trying one yesterday and. Oh my goodness! I just cannot, cannot get it. I'm, I I can do landscapes, but portraits. Well, the first of all, you need to stop saying you can't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Honestly, because it's psychological. You're convincing yourself that you can't do it. Okay. Therefore, <laughs> you can't do it. <laughs> yes, maybe that's the problem. <laughs> you have to think of it not as a. Don't think of it as a face. Don't think of it as a portrait. Because here's a story for you that I think Richard McKinley told us this in one of his workshops that I took. And I don't remember if it was a story that he had heard from Albert Handel or something. Or, uh, but anyway, there's a student at, at, at the Art League, the, you know, the Art Students League of New York or whatever. And they're in this drawing class. And the instructor sets up a still life and he demonstrates how to draw the still life. And then he says, okay, now draw the still life. And the students are drawing the still life. And then in the afternoon, they have a model come in and it's, it's a live model and, the, and sits, they sit down, the model sits down, the instructor puts the lighting on them and said, okay, now draw the portrait, draw the portrait of this person. And the students start drawing the portrait and the instructor goes around and he stops at this one student and the student's not doing anything. And the instructor says, why aren't you, why aren't you drawing the model? And the student says, well, you, you didn't show us how to draw a portrait. And the instructor oh. says, I showed you how to draw the still life this morning. It's the same thing. Same thing. Yeah. Same thing. Drawing is drawing. You know, it's shapes, angles, lights and shadows, values, you know, lines. Uh, it's mostly shapes and angles in my mind. It's mostly shapes and angles. Yes. So, you know, if you can, you know, if you can draw, if you can draw this water bottle and make the proportion correct from the, from the height to the width and get this angle right and this angle right. And, you know, if it's a little bit of a perspective, if you can get this curve right and get this angle, get this angle right and get this angle right and, the, and all the proportions correct from top to bottom and side to side, you know, that's, that's just as hard as drawing a face. Yeah. And to make it You're look right. exactly like this bottle and not some shorter bottle or skinnier bottle or taller bottle or whatever, you know, it's easy to do a still life when nobody knows what pieces those are. You can change the shapes all you want, you know, but you know, that's probably the challenge of a portrait is that you really do have to, you know, if you're going to get a likeness, you have to really know how to draw yes. well enough. So I would say if you want to, if you want to draw portraits better, keep a sketchbook and draw every day. And it doesn't even matter what you draw, just something like yes. do a drawing a day for a year. I have a couple of friends that did that. Somebody did that. Uh, actually, I think it was, uh, uh, Gail, Sibley. Gail Sibley. Yeah. Gail Sibley did a drawing a day for a year and she put it on her Facebook page. I think it was from 2016 or something. It was way back, but they were really simple. Just like a lot of them were just done with a ballpoint pen, like, really fast but you know it, it's that commitment that really helps you also and if you want a good drawing book i'm not really a book type person but uh this book i read let's see i have um drawing on the right side of the brain oh yeah drawing on the right side of the brain by betty edwards okay now, this yeah. is this if you can get the first, the, the first edition, I think is okay. better. That's the first one I read and I don't know what happened to it. I lent it to somebody and I never got it back. So this is like a different edition. And it, the, the samples in it are pretty good, but they're not as good as the first edition. They had some, she had some really amazing examples in here of people that take her class. She teaches, she teaches a college course somewhere in California. Okay. Specifically to non-art majors. Okay. She, like her, her whole, synopsis of the class is like if you don't draw if you can't draw and you don't think you'll ever be able to draw come and come to my class and these are some of the examples 
I'm probably, I probably won't be able to keep this in and put this on YouTube. They'll probably flag it for copyright. But the, the, like this was before, and this is after. That's a nice This is before, <laughs> and this is after. Well, that's very, like, very encouraging. <laughs> this, is, this is before, and this is after. And, uh, uh, and that, I think, is her uh, before and after drawings of an entire five-day class held in Seattle in 1997. So she teaches people like that in five days. Well, I'll definitely look for that book. Mm. So, and I would, I would recommend uh, reading it. Just read it all the way through without doing any of the exercises first, just read it. I didn't read this until after I was out of college and it was super interesting to me. It's a lot about the psychology of how the brain works mm. and uh, all the stuff that's in here is like all of the, the things that my like high school art teacher made us do and the college instructors make, made us do, mostly the high school actually. By the time you got to college, mm. they were into experimental stuff, but the teachers would make us do this stuff, but they didn't tell us why. Oh, like, why okay. do a blind, like, got to do a blind contour. We're going to do blind contour today. That's when you look at the subject, but you don't look at what you're drawing. Yeah. I'm like, why? Why? This looks terrible. I can't even see what I'm doing. <laughs> but they didn't explain it. This book explains it. Okay. It explains why to do that. And uh, so read it all the way through and then, um, and then start it again and do everything that's in the book. Okay.